Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Chris Bergstrom again from BushidoPhoto.com and today I want to show you my gimbal setup so you can possibly get some ideas on how to set up your gimbal. So first off, I'm starting with the base which is the DJI Ronin S and that's the overall gimbal and if you know what the DJI Ronin S is then I don't need to explain that to you. Uh, to attach the Atomos Ninja 5, I'm using the small rig monitor mount and this has a NATO rail on it. If you're not familiar with the NATO rail, this just allows you to easily slide on and lock things. And of course this is meant for a monitor. And then it comes, well you have to buy this separately, but this is the actual part that attaches to the Ninja. And then I have the 8 sin cage going around the Ninja recorder which actually locks your HDMI cable in. Um, it'll lock your HDMI out as well. And it's got plenty of quarter 20s all over it. And on the bottom, I attached a small rig uh, cold shoe that I can attach the Sennheiser AVX wireless receiver to and record that directly into the Atomos Ninja instead of having the AVX mounted to the top of the camera which then is going to add weight and it's a little bit, takes more time to balance it. And then you're running the audio into the camera. Since I am not recording the video on the X-T3, I'm recording only HDMI out into the Atomos Ninja. Uh, that's why I'm recording the audio to the Ninja instead of to the camera. Now, if I wanted a second backup, I could record both to the X-T3 and the Ninja but I find that that's overkill. I haven't had any problems with the Ninja 5, especially with the Sony Atom X uh, SSD hard drives. They're really good. All right, so let's talk about the camera. So I've got the uh, Fujifilm X-T3 up top and I've got it mounted to an Arca Swiss. So I added the Fujifilm grip, which actually has an Arca Swiss plate on the bottom. You can attach it, uh, dis disassemble it from here. And then I've got an old Fuji, or sorry, an old Nikon uh, 50 millimeter f1.8, and it's an AIS lens with a uh, follow focus ring that sits on the uh, focus on the actual lens. And this is custom fitted, you know, it's 3D printed for this lens, so it fits perfectly. And then, of course, I got the DJI follow focus, which actually allows me to move this and I can focus. Now some people are gonna say, well, it's probably better to have autofocus. Well, it's kind of a little bit better. However, you don't need autofocus nowadays, especially when you're using the Ninja 5 with its focus peaking. So if you can zoom in on the screen here. So if you look here, You'll see whenever it turns red, and plus you can see on a bigger monitor when things are in focus. So right now I'm focused on this post. Now I'm focused on the chain link. Now I'm focused on the fence and the tree in the background. So that's pretty awesome. I do record in ProRes HQ. Um, I'm using F-Log, but I'm actually monitoring with a LUT applied and I find that by seeing what the LUT applied is going to look like that I end up getting a better exposure when I bring it in for editing. Um, in addition to all that, I added this strap here, which allows you to take all the weight off of your wrist so you don't get tired at the end of the day. A lot of the weight is distributed to your shoulders. And this is my gimbal setup for 2019, and I hope you guys like it. I'm going to show you what I can do with it, take a couple test shots, show you some video from the X-T3 using this gimbal and this manual focus Nikon lens, which by the way, shooting with the Meta Bones and the Nikon 50 millimeter, I'm actually shooting 50 millimeter full frame right now because it is a focal reducer on the Meta Bones and instead of it being a 1.8, it's more like a 1.2 lens because the Meta Bones makes it one stop faster than the native lens. So hope you guys enjoy the video and like, comment, subscribe. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks. All right, guys, so here's the Sennheiser AVX into the Atomos Ninja 5. The camera is the Fujifilm X-T3. 
with the Nikon 50 millimeter f1.8 AIS manual focus lens. And right now we've got the gimbal set up for manual focus pulling. And so I hope you guys like the way this looks. I think it's pretty epic. So I'm gonna go ahead and walk away. All right, everybody, so here's the Sennheiser AVX into the Atomos Ninja, and we're gonna see how it sounds. And I'm also using the Nikon 50 millimeter F1.8 on the Fujifilm X-T3, and the gimbal is the Ronin S. And I hope you guys like this footage. So let's check it out. Thank you. 